Welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And in today's episode, we are going to be tearing down some subframe, well, the whole rear subframe that we picked up last episode. So let's dive straight in and let's see all what it entails. All right, now that we got it home, we're gonna start taking this bad boy apart, but I figured we'd start from the outsides and then work our way inside. That'll probably be the best bet. Okay, so where I wanna start is right in this area. We're gonna take both the shocks off. So we're gonna do this simultaneously, basically. So we're gonna take out the two 12 millimeters for the uh, brake line. Then we're gonna take out the 17 millimeter here. Then we're gonna start working on taking off the caliper and the rotor. So let's do that and then uh, come back. Okay, we're moving along. As you can tell, I soaked everything down with PB Blaster. I'm talking about everywhere and let it sit for a couple days. So the bolts are actually coming loose pretty easy. Um, not bad. So next, as you can see, we got those four bolts loose there. We have to get this one loose down here so we can pull out the shock. We're gonna take off this line. And since the e-brake cable is already cut, we'll take the unit that holds it down here out and take these calipers off. So I'm gonna take these two bolts loose. Actually, we're gonna take these four, take this off here take these off here there's uh, one up the top on inside and outside one on the bottom inside outside and then take that off take this disc off and yeah keep going so yep yeah, let me get the rest of this out and take it from there okay so we got the caliper off I got the bolts out and this area here it's supposed to be completely lubed with a thick grease. Uh, make sure it slides properly. So this one goes for the bottom and then this one goes for the top. And as you can see, all of these boots are dry. So I'm gonna keep these out for right now to make sure these get lubricated properly before they go back in. But, you know, keep track of your bolts. And right down here, you see there's a little carter pin. Take that out. Then you take your brake cable piece out. And brake pads are here. All of that part's going in the trash. Um, we're gonna take loose the bracket right here. And yeah, we should be good to go. So let's keep going. Okay, so that carter pin and whole assembly is kind of frozen together. So I'm gonna get that part out later with the e-brake cable. And this part, you take out that bolt, then use a flathead to squeeze in between here. It'll open it up so you can slide the shock out. And then you have the whole unit like that. So now what we're gonna do is try to take out this well, where'd it go? Nope, that's not it. Get down here. <sighs> yep, so we're gonna try to take out this guy, which I really doubt is gonna come out, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Um, take that disc off, and then also we're going to take out the e-brake cable. We're gonna take out the axle. So we're gonna take those loose. And then we're gonna start taking out these bolts here. Take out the full uh, rear spindle. And then after that, we can take out the sway bar end links and then the lower control arm will be the next bet after that. So let's start busting more of this down. The better the tools, the easier the job. Okay, so this is where we're at. So on those, those uh, spindles, 
bottom nut is seized in there. So we're gonna torch those up a little bit later, but we have this uh, center section that's ready to go. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the four bolts off here and the two bolts off here. And I'm going to uh, take the differential and torque tube out, move that aside, move the frames aside, and we're gonna drain the fluid on this differential before we uh, completely pull out the axles. So, not too much left, but, yeah, that's what we're gonna do and hopefully be done. Okay, so, you bust loose the 17 millimeters, then you bust loose these 17s, get these two separated, and then with this guy with the torque tube, 14 millimeters gets the job done. And then we're gonna drain the fluid on this guy. But before we do, let's clean up all of this mess and uh, yeah, take it from there. Okay, so we got it up on the jacks here and we're gonna start draining it. And then hopefully I can get these axles repaired or depending, I might do it myself. So we'll get to that, of course, in the future. So let's get the draining of this and then we're gonna take off the torque tube and make sure everything is doing what it's supposed to do. Brand new. That's good. So this is definitely a well taken care of differential and that's what we want. So I'm gonna finish draining this and take it from there. Okay, we broke it on down. Okay, so easiest method to get the axles out of there is a two pry bar at uh, either end, up, down, whichever way is easiest for you and pop right out same thing for the other side and we unbolted the torque tube which is 417 millimeters and you can see the pinging gear there all of the goodies over here and uh, the bearing on this one seems perfect doesn't have any harsh play or anything like that very easy to spin does its job so that is it for the rear diff I'm excited to get all of this stuff sandblasted kind of take it from there but um, last piece we're gonna take off before uh, we start torching stuff is this piece here which goes to the drive shaft actually this part forward is the drive shaft it just got broken so um, I'm gonna take this one off, get rid of that one. And then we should be good. Got all the extra parts over here. Um, those screws at the bottom to release the spindles need to be torched off. Sway bar link needs to be uh, sandblasted and powder coated. Everything needs to be powder coated, but we'll definitely get to that in due time, of course. But, yep. We're going to sweep this area out, start packing up the parts, and uh, yeah, take it from there. All right, and last but not least, we're going to take this piece off and apart. So first things first, you want to get the <clears throat> socket on there so you can move this about. But before we do, let me show you what you have to take loose. So this screw here has to come out. Then this bolt will slide out. So let's do that and take it from there. So the reason you wanna put the bolt on here is so you can actuate this piece forward or backwards and forwards, long story short. So you're able to get to this bolt and slide it out like normal. 
So we're gonna tilt this, uh, this one and take it out. All right, so once, oh, hold on. All right, so once the nut is taken off, it's gonna need a little bit of persuasion. So get you a punch, line it up, give it a couple taps until it shoots out, and boom, that's it. Okay, and then you wanna give it a couple taps, should come out. If not, like this one, being stubborn, you wanna put the heat here and here. Doesn't matter if you melt any of the components because you plan on replacing it anyway if you've come this far. So, I'm gonna add the heat there and we should be good to go. Okay, and with the help of the pry bar, we got it to this plateau where we can kick it loose and hopefully she'll come out now um, since she's all loose thanks to the torch everything so let's see if she'll come out a little bit of hammering should shoot out technically but we'll see all right and after that, hopefully you'll have success. This is still a little hot, but have a little success. That's the uh, bolt. Try not to destroy this. This one is not one that is easily uh, replaceable. So, yep, with all of that being said, next thing I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna lay these components out to the rear of the car. So I'll be standing from the rear, laying them out from the back all the way to the front. So you could see everything you pretty much have to take apart. So yeah, all right, let me clean this stuff up and I'm gonna lay it out for you guys. And that is the orientation, how everything comes apart. Okay, and I mean everything. So, uh, only thing that's missing from this equation is shocks, brake calipers, brake hardware, disc, stuff like that. But regardless to what, this is pretty much how you're going to take it apart and what it's going to look like when it is taken apart. So, yes, that's perfect. So me, I'm gonna have to take this apart a little bit further. Um, and of course, prepare to torch out all of the bushings, which I'm gonna do a little bit later. But that's it, she looks good. And with that being said, we're gonna call it episode there. Hope you guys found this informative and helpful some way, shape or form. But until then, remember guys, knowledge is power and I will see you guys next time.